So this time we're going to be creating a custom formula using Google Ops Script. And it's going to take in the two parameters, the values from column A, which is going to have the price of the item. And then column B is going to have the discount that we want to apply to the item. And then the last column here, column C, is going to be providing the total. And this is going to be done with a custom function within Ops Script. Log into your Google account, go over to your drive and create a brand new doc. I've given it a name of sample apps script, and we're going to be doing some sample apps script. We're going to create a custom function using apps script that's going to determine a discounted price on an item. So let's give a few different items here and give uh, some prices on these items. And these can be any numbers. Also insert a row above price, and then this is going to be the discount and new total. So we give the column headers some values, make it look a little bit bigger there. And then the discount that we want to apply is going to be coming from the discount column. So for instance, if we want to do a discount of 20%, that's going to represent a dot two. So taking off a 0 0.2 off of that, I want to do 30%, 0 0.3, I want to do 15% and 10%. There's also 5%. So whatever percentage that we want to apply, we're going to set it as a de decimal of a value of 1. So coming in, if we want to do 50%, that would be dot 50. So what we want to do is we want to create a formula that's going to calculate the new total, and we're going to do this within apps script. So selecting under the extensions, apps script, and that's going to open up the script editing tool, and I'll just give it a name. So this is going to be the name of the script that we're going to be using, and I'll zoom the code in a little bit better so that we can see it for the recording. In order to do this, to access the command panel, you can select the F1 or the keyboard shortcut, or right click anywhere within the editor and that will open up the command panel. The what I'm using is the editor font zoom in. So this gives you some options here that you can customize some of the editor features and there's a number of different ones that uh, you can go through and use also the shortcuts in order to increase the coding speed. So this is going to be a function that's going to be adding the discount and it's going to require the two parameters. So the first parameter is going to be the original cost and the second one is going to be the discount value that we're going to be applying to it. So let's figure out what the price of the value is and that's coming out of the cost and this is going to be the new total. So we're supplying and subtracting the value of the cost minus whatever the discount is. And that's where that fraction is going to come in useful that we're able to calculate at the discount. And then we can also format it as a dollar format as well. So let's uh, set that up as dollars. And we're going to select the international number format. And this will allow us to select a number format. And the one that we're going to be using is going to be US dollars. And there's different codes for different number formats. And then within the object, let's set it up as a style. And this is going to be a currency. And then the currency value that we have is going to be US dollars. And then what we, we want to do within this function is we're going to return back the dollar format for whatever we worked out as the current price. Let's save that. So we've got a function that's going to be called add discount. It's going to require the two parameters. So going back into our spreadsheet, Let's apply that, so the equal sign, add discount, and then the two values that it's going to require. So the first one is going to be coming from the A2, and the second value is going to be coming from the 
B2 and then press equal and that will format and calculate the total. So if we want to apply it to the additional columns, we can just drag and that's going to work out whatever the totals are. So these are going to be presenting the new totals with the discounted price being applied. And then you can also apply some formatting as needed to the column data in order to be able to better read it. And then as you update these, so if we want it as 65%, so the original cost was $70, we're taking 65% off, and this is providing the new total for us. And that's being returned back from the custom formula that we created using Google Apps Script.